So I added some brown over here so it's like it has a rear tire hanging off the back. Um, I'm going to ponder on that. And I think I need to put on the, the wheels so that I can get the um, line work done over here and over here. I am going to distress this. I have some stays on timber brown over here. So this timber brown is going to be darker. See how it's given it a little bit of um, darkness around the edge. So that's distressing. That's right. I'm going to put a flower there. Or I also have these other little blingy flowers. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I think I might. Uh, I don't know now. Oh, I just don't know. I guess it is time to glue these on. Put that one there. They look like they're straight. Yeah, yeah, I think they are. So I just remembered that I need to give this a coat of matte medium because, um, when I do, when I go on to my next steps, it'll be easier to um, correct if I make a little mistake. So I have my matte medium and um, I haven't used it in a while and I have that plastic baggie on it and it comes off so easy. Not even a problem. All right. And I am um, using a matte gel because I'm afraid if I go with the high gel that I'll get reflections. There will be glares and we don't want glares. Now I think that does look like a, a back tire and if it doesn't it looks good there anyway. Okay so I just made a strip and I rounded off the top and the bottom so it looks like you're looking at the um tire at a side view. Actually this is a mat and it should not be a problem doing the coat on this because that's what this is for. So I have a flat brush that I'm going to put the matte medium on with and it'll be very 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 important that I um wash this afterwards. I don't really have to worry about going on the white because I am cutting this out. Cut it out. I don't know why I say that every time I say that. Like say it twice. No clue. Something is embedded in my head. And when you put your matte medium on, I am looking at this and I can see where it is and where it isn't because you get a shine. Now this won't take long to dry, but it does need to dry. And I just need the one coat on it. So it still looks good to me. I am going to bring those brushes upstairs to wash them. If you take care of your brushes, they will last a long time, but you need to take care of them. So yesterday I went to Dollar Tree. Um, I was out on the road in a different part of town and there was a new Dollar Tree for me. It's located in Warwick, Rhode Island. And so I went in and, um, you know, there was nothing new or wonderful or different. I guess all the Dollar Trees are about the same. I did find these, I call this bling from Crafter Square. And when I saw the turquoise, what did I think of? I thought of my pickup truck. This is going to be a very, very girly pickup truck. I have been away from this quite a few days. So I see what I need to do now is I need to put in the um, the door, the door of the pickup. Going to cheat a little bit on that. I am going to measure. So that is what I'm going to call it two inches. So I want something that is two inches wide 
and I am going to be cutting this out so I can take my notes up here. So two inches wide. And then I don't really want a square. Two and a half might be too much. So two, one, two, three, two and three quarters. How's that? I am going to cut out a piece of cardstock with those dimensions. I cut it out in pink so you could see it and I am going to get my corner cutter and round off those edges. I am going to put this exactly where I want it, making sure it's straight and I am going to use my pencil and lightly trace it on. That is the door. So now I need to pencil in the hood. 